Uh, the moving the chairman of the Tory party was a significant move, though, Very important. wasn't it? Because he Even was one of the people get blamed for her not getting yeah, look, the Patrick majority that she needed. Patrick McLaughlin, a very nice guy, former coal miner, not many of those in the Tory parliamentary party, mm -hmm. utterly ill-equipped for that job, useless, should have been fired after the general election campaign, but clung on. He wanted to go, to be fair. And then they give him his new job, except for 28 seconds, it's a man called Chris Grading as Tory chairman. In so this that day was of tweeted chaos, by the Conservative Party? By the party itself. Now, had they been wrongly briefed? What, was Chris Grayling going to be moved out no, of his post as Transport Secretary? No, I think it was cock-up again. They were just well, making Kevin, things yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, 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 Here's the problem. Mm -hmm. Theresa May made her big conference speech. She lost her voice. The wall started collapsing. <laughs> Everything was going wrong, right? They can't just do even the basics right. Yeah. You know, for the Conservative website to post yeah. the wrong announcement <laughs> about, about a senior chairman. appointment. The it's chair just, of its own yeah, party. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It, it is. And so how can you negotiate a decent Brexit deal, get the grips with an economy which is misfiring, sort out the problems of the NHS and everything else that's wrong with Britain? This is it. She's just lost whatever she had. I think she was overrated at the beginning, but she's just become totally incompetent. And you have people around you who will say, right, we'll move this person there and you test them out, you yeah. make sure it's going to work. And it, Ray Shuffles have fallen apart in the past. It was described, uh, but Andrew, never it, like this. It was described yeah. as pale and stale. Yeah, I'm afraid so. And, the and that really is what it is, yeah. isn't it? And the worst thing for the primes <laughs> is when people start to laugh and mock, Mm -hmm. then it's very difficult to take her seriously. And that's what people are doing. They're, and that's well, their own think, MPs. I don't think she's a leader. And I keep being told yeah. desperately by people, the mood has changed, yeah. everything's back on track. I don't feel it. I don't see it. I don't look at her doing interviews. I watched her with Andrew Marr on Sunday. I was completely underwhelmed. I... I, don't, I don't feel like there's a leader. When you watch Maggie Thatcher or you watch Tony Blair, you saw people who were leaders or in their Go time. Or right? Gordon Brown or even David Cameron. Right. I, I, it wasn't, I wasn't right. David Cameron's biggest fan, but there was Never. something you about him. you had to exude an air of leadership. Yeah. Andrew, yesterday morning, uh, and you know there were lots of briefings in the Sunday papers as well, but yesterday morning we were saying this was a chance for her to reassert yeah. her authority. Strategically, tactically, it was an utter mistake, wasn't it? Because actually what happened was people went in, she seemed to ask them yes, she if did. it was all right yes, if she, she moved them, she and did. then it seemed that they said, no, actually, you and know it, what, I want and, to and keep my job. And that isn't leadership, and that's not being a boss. No. So shouldn't she perhaps have set the tone more of, I'm going to sort of move people around in a more collegiate way and yeah. work out a better the, that's, strategy. That's the point, because there was a spectacular failure of intelligence. She should have known that the health secretary was not willing to be moved to the job of business yes. secretary, which was sideways or at best a demotion. She should have known her, people should have told her. She should have and known that Justine know. Greening wouldn't accept the move. Absolutely. She Absolutely. should have known all of these things. Jeremy, yeah. Jeremy Hunt, right? Jeremy Hunt, I actually quite like Jeremy. I think it's he, admirable he that in. he's sticking in that he's, job he's, too. You know, he's got balls for sticking yeah, it out. And, he, and, you know, it's, it's a, it's a god-awful job, that yeah. job. And I wouldn't wish it on anybody. But he's universally unpopular. The, the whole industry, the health industry, appears to hate him. Want him out? You know, if you wanted to make yourself look tough, you could easily <laughs> look like you've sacked Jeremy Hunt and just give somebody something that shows you're a leader. But she can't even bring herself to do that because Jeremy Hunt sits there and goes, I'm not going anywhere. I know. Look, if anyone is threatened with a sack today, you want to say, you want Theresa May to pop down to your firm and do it, and you'll just be able to stay <laughs> yeah. and just say, I'm not going. He's, he's bed-blocking Jeremy Hunt now. He's refusing to get out of his hospital. He's going to stay. But you're right. The and also, the there, was a, there was a tactical masterstroke on Jeremy Hunt's part where not only did he make it look like he was immovable, but he's actually <laughs> said, well, give me a bigger More job. More job. And, and actually, I think a lot of people will think, well, actually, that's quite, that's quite a good move. So who's in charge here? I, Suddenly I, I, it's I was, Jeremy Hunt, was, not the Prime I Minister. I today, whoever I was... I don't think you're going to be Peers, by the way. You know what? Whatever, whatever, whatever happens on this, this Twitter feed, there's an absolute surge. Don't rule anything out. What's it now, six... 61% think no. I should replace her anyway, so actually you may not be right there. <laughs> yeah. uh, but actually, if, if I was in there being shuffled around today, I'd say, actually, you know what, uh, Prime Minister, I want your job. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not leaving here yes. until you yeah. give it to me. Yeah. And she's so weak, she's probably yeah. going, oh, all right then. Do you know, the reshuffle is so bad, like, the rumour is Kevin Maguire is going to be the next Tory chairman. It yeah. is such a joke now, people are laughing about but it. 